Incredibly, after briefly embracing the need for everyone to engage in social distancing to flatten the curve, on Tuesday, our wartime president seemed to already be considering giving up the fight and encouraging everyone to go back to work. We're opening up this incredible country because we have to do that. I'd love to have it open by Easter. Okay, I would oh, love wow. to have it open okay. by Easter. I will, I will tell you that right now. I would love to have that. It's such an important day for other reasons, but I'll make it an important day for this too. Okay, setting aside the Easter's an important day for other reasons, the date he's setting is just two weeks from now, which is objectively way too soon. Although, if you're going to pick a holiday to break quarantine, you could do a lot worse than one honouring the time that Jesus was supposed to stay inside and didn't. And it's worth taking a moment to appreciate just how irresponsible that attitude is. Because we wasted so much time that we could have spent preparing, the virus is now widespread. And thanks to how we have massively botched the rollout of testing for the virus, we still don't know exactly how bad things are. So strict social distancing measures are our best shot at slowing this outbreak. Epidemiologists have said if it were possible to wave a magic wand and make all Americans freeze in place for 14 days while sitting six feet apart, the whole epidemic would sputter to a halt. Now, obviously, that magic wand is impossible, but some people aren't even doing anything close to that. And if you need proof of just how true that is, just listen to the understandably exasperated governor of Kentucky. We have a positive case today from someone who attended a coronavirus party. <laughs> and this is the part uh, where I, the person that tell everybody to be calm, have to remain calm myself. Well, good luck with that. 